So hello everyone in this video I'll be telling you how you can store your countdown information inside local storage. So right now if we click on the submit the countdown is there but if I refresh that so that's lost. So we are restricting that and we'll be storing the information inside the local storage. So for doing that first we'll be access, uh, going inside this update countdown function and we'll be storing the information of title and date inside the local storage. So for doing that I'll be just uh, creating one object. So I can create saved countdown or anything you can write. And inside that I can write uh, for example title and I will be assigning title to, to it and then I can write date to date. Yeah. Now it's uh, now we'll be storing this saved countdown object into local storage for doing that we'll be using local storage this is a global uh, object you can say inside that we can use set item method i can specify the thing i want so this is a key you can consider it as a key and after that we can specify the value to it so we cannot directly specify the value if you if I do that save countdown if I do that so we'll not be able to access the uh, items inside that we'll not be able to see that let me just show you this one so if I do that first of all let me show you the local storage where is that actually if you click on uh, storage in Firefox and you go to local storage you see nothing right if I click on this submit icon you can see that this countdown is created but the value is in object object form so that we can't access right now so we'll be storing it as a string whenever you want to store uh, some objects arrays or anything you have to show that as a string so for doing that we have a function uh, json.stringify we'll be using that JSON dot stringify you can use this and if you want to get the item then you will be using JSON dot parse uh, JSON dot stringify inside that you can specify the object so I'll be specifying that if I save it now yeah you can see in the storage the previous one is still there I can I can delete this one or if I click on the submit it will be overwritten so if I click on this submit so you can see that it is changed and it is storing title sales meeting and etc so everything is there actually now we can access this uh, wherever we want so we have actually stored this by using this a uh, local storage option then we'll be accessing that into another function uh, that will be let let me just write anything for example restore countdown should be camel casing yeah inside that I can first grab the access or get the local storage so if I'll be checking that first so I'll be checking local storage dot care item and if I have the countdown then we'll be doing all this if uh, the countdown is not there then we'll not be doing anything so the first thing which we want to do is we want to activate the counter form area and make it false oh, make it true because we want to hide it right yeah so we, what we want uh, to do is we want to show the countdown area so we'll be doing that first let let's get get our data saved object or saved countdown simply write let me just write countdown data or anything so for doing that I'll be using JSON dot parse and inside that I can grab the local storage dot get item so I can get the item by the key so what this will do is this will give you the stringified data 
and then this json dot pass will convert that to an object so that we can access the properties which we stored inside the inside the objects which is title and date we will be able to access that so i have stored this inside this countdown data so we'll be uh, grabbing that and assigning it to title which is a global uh, variable we are accessing everywhere to it so we'll be assigning that uh, the value in here so we'll be assigning countdown data dot title to it and we'll be assigning date to countdown data okay it's data dot date to it yeah now what we want to do is we want to show the update dom fu uh, function and also we want to create this uh, let me show you in update countdown we created this right so we have uh, we have created this title and date consider this as like we have created this title and date uh, from the local storage and then we need to create this countdown value so to so we can get the distance from like minus after subtracting from the current timing so we'll be doing that we'll be using the same line and then we'll be calling the update dom function which will actually update the dom yeah so if i save it now and if I call this as a global function anywhere at the last or anywhere so what this will do is it will get the item from the local storage and then if the item is there then it will directly show us uh, it will set the title and date and then it will show us the uh, uh, counter, counter or countdown screen so let's view that let me just refresh it you can see that it is still there so it is not getting lost yeah you can see that if i delete this local storage if i refresh that now so you can see it is not doing that so this we did and we did now if i click on this submit now so you can see the local storage is created if i refresh it yeah it's not getting lost instead it is showing us that also we want to click this reset button and then we want to remove this local storage actually so we'll be adding one more line inside the reset function which is local storage dot remove item and then we can specify the countdown key so it will remove the uh, uh, actual object inside the local storage when we click on this reset button we don't have to manually uh, delete this it will be automatically deleted if i click on this reset button so you can see the local storage is not there and if i click on this refresh so it's uh, it's not coming now because we have reset uh, the uh, countdown so it's deleted so i think all the functionality of this countdown is completed i hope you enjoyed this project and uh, you learned something inside this so I think this is for it now and we'll be learning more in the future projects uh, let's stop this video now and we'll be meeting in another project thank you for watching so everything is completed right